Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of reading The Lord of the Rings, one page a day. We're of course uh, still working on The Fellowship of the Ring, which is the very first book out of three. Um, we're currently on page 46, and we're just going to continue where we left off. Before the video starts though, um, I want to tell you something. Uh, I sort of indicated it in the, not the last episode, but like the episode before that, um, that something is about to happen and that something um, I, well, haven't even told uh, many of my family members or friends, um, but I am moving. Uh, and I don't mean like moving channel or anything, no, I mean moving in like real life. Currently, I live in Rotterdam uh, in Holland. Um, but I'm moving to Norway. Uh, it's been a long dream of mine ever since like 2018 or 2017 even. Um, and I'm going to make my, uh, my dream come true. I'm going to move to uh, Trungjum, uh, which is like, uh, well, in Norway. <laughs> if you want to know where it is, look it up on Google Maps. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be moving there. So that's quite an experience. Um, it's going to take some time for me to settle down and like settle and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's an experience worth taking and a risk worth taking. Um, yeah, let's see where that goes, I guess. If you have any questions about that, let me know in the comments. I mean, I'd be willing to answer. Like I said, I haven't even told most of my family members or like my friends or whatnot. Um, so yeah, you're the first to know. <laughs> Anyways, page 46. Let's dive right in. Well, so have I cried Bilbo, and my will and all the other documents too. You had better take it and deliver it for me. That will be the safest. No, don't give the ring to me, said Gandalf. Put it on the mantelpiece. It will be safe enough there till Frodo comes. I shall wait for him. Bilbo took out the envelope, but just as he was about to set it by the clock, his hand jerked back and the packet fell on the floor. Before he could pick it up, the wizard stooped and seized it and set it in its place. A spasm of anger passed swiftly over the hobbit's face again. Suddenly, it gave way to a look of relief and a laugh. Well, that's that, he said. Now I'm off. They went out into the hall. Bilbo chose his favorite stick from the stand and he whistled. Three dwarves came out of different rooms where they had been busy. Is everything ready? asked Bilbo. Everything packed and labeled? Everything, they answered. Well, let's start then. He stepped out of the front door. It was a fine night, and the black sky was dotted with stars. He looked up, sniffing the air. What fun! What fun to be off again! Off on the road with dwarves! This is what I've really been longing for, for years. Goodbye, he said, looking at his old home and bowing to the door. Goodbye, Gandalf. Goodbye for the present, Bilbo. Take care of yourself. You are old enough and perhaps wise enough. Take care, I don't care. Don't you worry about me. I am as happy now as I had ever been. And that is saying a great deal. But the time has come. I am being swept off my feet at last, he added. And then, in a low voice, as if to himself, he sang softly in the dark. The road goes ever on and on, down from the door where it began. Now far ahead the road has gone, and I must follow if I can. And with that song right there is where we're going to finish the episode. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And I'll see you here tomorrow for page uh, 47, uh, which um, starts with a song again. So, yeah, uh, there's that. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy your evening and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.